Hello, and because why not? I thought there's so much, you know, out there. It'd be nice to have some here's some poetry. So I'm going to read from uh, my poetry chapbook explorations, and I thought I would read perhaps a poem a day. So I'll start with the first one. It's called Rotunda Dreams. It is pleasantly warm sitting on the steps of the rotunda, gazing out at the darkened lawn. All is quiet save for isolated conversations of couples and small groups of students nearby. I hear the distant sounds of a radio from one of the lawn rooms. The lights of the rotunda are a distraction, obscuring my view of the million stars above, but the soft, hazy glow of the lights is beautiful. A couple sits to my left, laying back on the steps, staring up at the stars. Behind me on the portico, students try to identify the constellations. Perhaps I could introduce myself. Hello, I could say. You know, I graduated from here with a degree in astronomy. I could point out all the stars. Instead, I remain quiet and just listen. A woman to my left laughs. I wonder what her companion said that is so amusing. It is a nice laugh, a pleasant, soothing sound. Alas, they get up and leave. Au revoir. Scattered about the lawn, I see one, two, maybe three couples lying on the grass. It is hard to tell as the darkness quickly engulfs all but the nearby. The air is pleasantly warm. A slight breeze comes every now and then, bringing the slightest chill. The students continue to discuss astronomy. Strangely, even today, we remain captivated by the stars. How much more so our primitive ancestors, gazing at the strange points of light hanging in the sky. Some cultures thought of stars as campfires. The whole sky, nothing but tribes, sitting around campfires. There is a comforting universalness to that thought. Instead of vainly placing themselves at the center of a universe built exclusively for them, they saw themselves as one piece in a vast cosmic scheme. To any other campfire, they knew that they too were just another point of light. Two women step onto the lawn, one stopping to take her sandals off, feeling the cool grass underfoot. Both wear dresses of bright yellow and green. Still the darkness covers them, taking them from my sight as they walk down the lawn. Six people approach up the lawn. I see them in silhouette, backlit from the lights of distant Cavill Hall. Like Dorothy's arrival in Oz, they appear in full color and enter the soft glow of the rotunda. A couple to my left lies on the grass. One lights up a cigarette. For an instant, the flame looks like a small star shining in the dark, just for an instant. No wonder our ancestors thought stars were campfires. Someday I will read these words and remember the simple life of a student. I can read and remember that life is still simple and slow and warm and hazy and dim in the soft glow of the rotunda's lights. The clock nears midnight. Fraternity boys run past, streaking the lawn. Two women stand watching in the purple shadows of the rotunda. I hear them debate whether to join in. One undresses down to her undergarments before they decide against making the attempt. Oh well. I watch them wander away, fully clothed. It is past midnight. I am alone. I sit and gaze out into the empty darkness and smile. I take a few more breaths of the warm night air, then amble off to find my bed and there to sleep. To sleep, perchance to dream. I hope you like that one. We'll read more uh, tomorrow.